La 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 I'm feeling the island theme today and do I have a great recommendation for you. So if you're looking for a great tropical IPA and one that will surely make you look like a connoisseur, then join me on this tasting. My name is Eddie and I have tasted and sampled many beers from all over the world and it is my passion to help you find that perfect beer you're looking for. Whether you're looking to try something new or there is something very specific that you're looking for to pair with your food, I got your back. Welcome back, beer lovers. Thank you for spending the next few minutes with me. As I said in the intro, my name is Eddie, and on this channel, I taste and review all kinds of beer and give you my most honest opinion about them, as well as some ideas to pair them with your food, just like the one you're about to watch. So if you're new here, consider subscribing and clicking that bell icon down there so you're notified every time I release a new beer review video. So today, let's get to it. Because like I said, I'm feeling a little bit, you know, islanding today. Uh, it's actually more like a, a Hawaiian island that I'm having today because I have none other than Terrapin Luau Kronkles. Yes, and I'm, I know the Terrapin uh, Beer Company out of uh, Georgia, Athens, Georgia to be um, exact, but I don't think I've ever had Luau Kronkles. So, I'm excited because I love IPAs and I love tropical IPAs. So today I'm using my tulip glass here to pour this beer in. And of course, as you know, if you've been watching long enough, having the right type of glass for your beer is very important, especially if you're you know, on a journey to become a beer connoisseur. So, um, if you want to get your own set of Beer Connoisseur TV glasses, that's, you know, this channel and uh, this company, make sure you look in the description below and uh, click on that link to get your own set of, of different beer glasses so you can pair the right beer with the right glass. Now, where do we always start? Appearance, right? And the three C's of appearances, appearance, which are color, clarity, and carbonation. Do not confuse those with the, you know, four C's of diamond rings or any of that stuff. These are color, clarity, and carbonation. Now, look at that color. It's a, I would call it bright orange. I mean, it is definitely not, not amber, not yellow. It is, it is bright orange, and it is hazy, my friend. It is definitely, there is some major cloudy sediment there that I saw actually as I was pouring it. I saw to, towards the last of the pour, uh, all that sediment was uh, waiting for us down there at the bottom of the can. So it is definitely hazy. And as far as carbonation, yes, I do see some, some bubbles still at this time. I do see some bubbles rising from the side. I would call it probably medium, medium action. Now the aromas, because, oh yeah, I don't even have to stick my nose in there and I'm already getting a tropical treat here. Yes, definitely feel that orange. And that, um, I don't know that I can feel the, the guava so much, but definitely that orange and the, the passion fruit. I would definitely say that's part of there. And there's some other tropical niceness and sweetness in there, as well as some sweet malts. I definitely can feel some of the sweet malts, especially as that. A uh, big head of foam is dissipating. By the way, you saw that that was a big head of foam there. It has dissipated rather quickly. It's about half of what it was. Uh, you only have about an inch, uh, I mean, about a finger there, but I would call that decent retention, not, not the highest retention. But as that foam has been dissipating, yes, I can definitely feel that malt. And now I'm getting a lot of that passion fruit again. So great aromas, well balanced aromas, I would say. Now, I am ready to enjoy this because today it's been a long, hot day down here and I'm going to enjoy this now. Oh. 
Oh, wow. It's like a fruit salad. You, you know those canned fruit salads that you, you can buy? It's like all kinds of, I definitely felt the guava there uh, towards the middle of the taste. So it started, the tip of the tongue, you, you feel that, you know, bitter IPA, classic IPA. As soon as it goes through the, the middle of the tongue, the fruit juices just exploded. I felt that guava, I felt that passion fruit. I don't even know, I would say pineapple, but maybe it's the, the sweetness of the guava. And then that malt sweetness was also present there. And in the end, I'm, I'm feeling a little bit of the, maybe even some grapefruity kind of um, bitterness back there towards the end of the flavor. So really great complex flavors, lots of fruit juices, just as advertised. So great beer for a, for a hot day and a, a very refreshing beer at that. Very crisp, clean finish, even though it's hazy. I, you know, I, you know, it's not, not, nothing that um, you can feel. It's really, I would call that really crisp finish. And it's definitely not light body, but not, not heavy, uh, probably light to medium body is what I would, what I would call that. Now, the part that you come to me for and the part that usually makes you a connoisseur, what is that, right? The food pairings. Now, you heard me say this only a few times if you've been watching long enough. IPAs, traditionally, you like to pair those with, you know, heavy, spicy foods, but not with tropical IPAs because they typically don't have the body uh, and to stand up to the, the spices uh, or, or the punch to stand up to the spices. So you're looking for a little bit lighter fare, but with this one, actually, I felt so much of that, you know, carbonation and, and, and fruit juices that you can still uh, do some test there with some spices, just not go too heavy on it. So if you want to start with something light, like a light salad, go with a tangerine arugula salad. And uh, if you can make or find a mandarin vinaigrette dressing, that's going to go great with this beer. Coconut shrimp. Yes, because there's so many tropical fruits in this that it's going to, you know, blend and it's going to pair really, it's going to harmonize really well with that coconut. And shrimp shellfish is going to go great with any kind of shellfish, actually. It's going to go great with this tropical IPA. Um, now, I also think you can pair this and have a blast. If you have some blackened fish, make it mahi-mahi tacos. So blackened mahi-mahi tacos, maybe with a little bit of lime on top. Oh, yeah, I can, I can already taste it. And that's going to really pair really nicely with this beer. And you've heard me say this with several of the hazy and tropical IPAs. And I am a strong believer because I've done it many, many times. Ceviche. So go with some light white fish ceviche and maybe even some shrimp ceviche if you, you know, if you want to take the shellfish ceviche. And you cannot go wrong, my friend. Now, you know that when you come to me, you can always trust me to give you a nice gift down there in the description as far as a dessert pairing, because that really makes you a connoisseur. So go down there, get your gift, unlock the secret, the secret down there, and check out a great dessert pairing that I have for you today. Now, have you had Therapine Luau before? What's your opinion of it? What have you paired it with? Let me know in the comments below. I love to hear from you and we both can keep learning from each other. There you have it, my friends. I hope I have helped you increase your beer knowledge as we get on our journey to being connoisseurs. And maybe I help you find a new beer to try, one to impress your friends or guests with at your next gathering. And um, be on the lookout over the next few days when I release my next beer review video. But until then, enjoy.